Okay, well, hello again, beautiful calculus students. Welcome back to our discussion of integration by parts. Um, as promised, uh, the first uh, video just was an introduction with one short example. Moving on to example two from the book. Okay, so remember, integration by parts looks something like this. Integral of u dv equals uv minus integral of v du, the whole voodoo thing. Okay, so now I need to choose part of this integrand to be the u and the other part to be the dv. This one's actually kind of easy because we know that our u is something that we have to take the derivative of and our dv is something that we have to integrate. Well, we don't know how to integrate log x. We could take its derivative, but we've never taken the integral of log x. So that cannot be our dv. So by uh, no other alternatives, our dv is going to be x squared dx, which means our u is log x. And now it's pretty easy to just uh, take these parts. Um, du is 1 over x dx. And v, the integral of this thing, all right, so v is just x. Let me go back to black. Sorry about that. v is x cubed over 3. OK, so let's move on to another slide here. What we're looking at is this integral, integral of x squared log x dx is uv minus v du, and our, our u was log x, and our v was the integral of x squared, so that's x cubed over 3 minus the integral of voodoo, so x cubed over 3, and the, der the derivative of log x, right, the derivative of this piece, uh, which is 1 over x, so dx over x. So this integral is x cubed over 3, let's clean that up, x cubed over 3 log x minus the integral of x squared, and I'll put the 1 third out front, 1 third x squared dx. And well, x squared dx, the integral is going to be x cubed over 3, so we're going to have uh, a 1 ninth there. So this, fi the final answer for this antiderivative, x cubed over 3 log x minus 1 ninth x cubed um, plus c, plus c. And I suppose we could uh, compactify this a little bit. We get a x cubed over 3, x cubed over 3 times a quantity log x minus 1 third. And I think that'll do it for this example. And don't forget we could always check your answer by taking the derivative. Okay, moving on. Next example, example, example two. I mean, sorry, example three. Integral, so this is a definite integral from zero to one of arc sine of x dx. Well, you might be thinking this is kind of tricky, or is this a trick question? Because our integrand only has one thing. It's just the arc sine. Well, this is kind of like our log example in the previous one, is I don't know I don't know the integral of log sine. I do know its derivative, however. So this there's no choice in this matter as well. Since I don't know the derivative, sorry, I don't know the integral of log sine, I have to look at this as saying, well, I'll pretend that there is a one here. And so maybe just to make things explicit, I'll rewrite this as the integral from zero to one of arc sine x times one dx. And so in this case, I will say that this is my du, I'm sorry, dv, and this part here is my u. And so, because I could take the derivative of arc sine. So again, writing down our formula for integration by parts, the integral of u dv equals u v minus the integral of voodoo, v du. Okay, so we just said that u equals arc sine of x, so du is 1 over, you remember what the derivative of arc sine is? Uh, okay, here we go, 1 over 1 minus x squared dx. And then if our dv is just dx, you know, 1 times dx, then v is just x. Okay? And so let's move on to the next page and put these pieces together. We have uh, what we're looking for is in 
the, the integral becomes uv minus the integral from 0 to 1 of voodoo. And as I mentioned earlier on the previous slide, that this is really evaluated um, over the same range from 0 to 1. Okay, plugging in, we said that um, our u was arcsine of x, and our v is just x, and then our integral, I'll, this is going from 0 to 1, okay, and our integral is the integral from 0 to 1 of voodoo, v du. Uh, our v is x, and our du is the derivative of arcsine, dx over 1 minus x squared. And now this piece we can do by u substitution. u equals 1 minus x squared du. Okay, well now let's kind of forget that we're crossing all our u's and v's. We, we just redefined our u, but let's just, we're now, you know, we're done with the integration by parts by setting that up, but now we're just doing u substitution. So now we're saying our u is this, and so our du is negative 2x dx, and that's, we have most of that right there. So this becomes, okay, integral of arc sine, so x arc sine x from 0 to 1 minus a negative 1 half integral of u to the negative 1 half du. And we've actually seen integrals like this recently on our, our quizzes. That winds up being u to the positive one half divided by one half. Okay, so this becomes our integral is x arc sine x from zero to one plus, right? It was minus a negative one half u to the one half over one half from the antiderivative. These, of course, will cancel, and so we get x arc sine x from zero to one plus square root of 1 minus x squared from 0 to 1. And we can just plug in the numbers now. Let's see, arc sine of 1 is, well, what angle has arc, has a, a sine of 1? Let's pi over 2. And arc sine of 0 is just 0. And so we get, finally, 1 times pi over 2 is pi over 2 minus 0, plus a 0, we're going to plug in a 1 for here, that becomes 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, and so we get a 0, and then when we plug in a 0 for x squared, we get the square root of 1, and so this becomes 0 minus 1, and so our final answer on this is pi over 2 minus 1.